This is Dave Pomeroy with NBM National Business Media. Greg Brown with All We Do. This is Isabella Pinteric with Solid Stitch Embroidery. Mark Vassalantone with Vastex International. And you are listening to the Two Regular Guys Podcast. 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 Hosted by Terry Combs and Aaron Montgomery. Love it. Love it. All right. Well, welcome to the show. It's Friday, August 2nd, August here, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, I'm unbelievable. <laughs> uh, I'm Terry Combs. You can find me at equipmentzone.com and you can also find me at terrycombs.com. And I'm Aaron Montgomery and you can find me over at aaronmontgomery.info. Today, it's just uh, us two regular guys here, Terry. This exactly. is going to be awesome. We haven't done this in a while where uh, we get to... Uh, Get to just chat you and I. So uh, we we figured uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff in the business planning world here lately, and just kind of kind of keeping everybody on path for success. And and uh, you know you you're traveling the countryside as usual, keeping everybody on the straight and narrow as well. So uh, figure so we're going to talk business planning, guardrails to success, kind of. You know, Terry, what you and I talked about beforehand is this is kind of more of a wide ranging subject for us, I think, sure. kind of. But the overarching theme that we want to get through to everybody is that we want to work on our business as much as we can, not always in our business. Now, I mean, every day you're going to have to do things in your business, and that's just part of life, right? I mean, <laughs> exactly right. Keeping that lane. <laughs> yeah, keeping that lane. But it's also important to make sure that you're working on the business. So sure. I want to encourage just right off the top here, I want to encourage the regulators to just start chiming in on what working on your business means to you. So um, definitely want to do that. And also got the regulators in full force here, Terry. So nice. Nice. <laughs> I'm just looking at them all here. Uh, Curtis it says there's a bad echo. Anybody else getting that echo? Are you hearing it on your end, Terry? I'm not, I'm not hearing it. the echo. Okay. I think it's Curtis. Curtis, do you have us on multiple screens? It's not necessary <laughs> to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah. So, anyhow, uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. And and uh, Terry, but uh, as I said, you've been uh, running around like a crazy man all over the countryside. Uh, give us I some am. recaps. Where you been? <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Right now, I'm in uh, I'm in Vegas. I'm at the Minuteman Press Show. And uh, so, if I glance to my left, that means uh, the zip lines are going right by my window here. <laughs> I just can't help but stare at them as they go by. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, so so Vegas and uh, Aaron, I'm leaving uh, here tomorrow morning to go to Huntington Beach for the end of the Vans uh, U.S. Surfing Championships. Uh, my daughter and I do that every year. And Sweet. She, she, she's 19 now, so I'm thinking this might be the last year. So I have to <laughs> – meeting, meeting her there, she's driving out from uh, from uh, Scottsdale and, uh, and doing that till Tuesday and, you know, uh, uh, just more and more of that kind of thing. Last week, I was at NBM in the, the Meadowlands, or as I like to call it, Meadowlands slash New York City area <laughs> slash the Cockets. And uh, a really great show uh, again. You know, Aaron, it, it's really funny uh, how often I go to shows and people will say, oh, really? There's a trade show there? I, I had no idea. And, and so I invited all these people and I'm like, you know, there's a trade show that's like 45 minutes from you. There is, <laughs> and so I don't know if it's uh, it's the fault of the uh, of the folks putting on the shows, or uh, you know, or it's just so difficult to reach those folks who probably are working, uh, you know, in their business rather than on their business. Oh, yeah, and, and there not you go. So <laughs> they're hey, not I, the ones watching this program. <laughs> exactly right. Exactly right. And uh, hey, I do want to shout out to. Uh, Regulator Andy Miller with Pro Stitch Embroidery. Uh, Andy is in Milton, Delaware, and he came by uh, to say hello as, as, a, as a regular listener. And also um, uh, Jim Kazikas, uh, he came by and drove away in the Equipment Zone Smart Car. Apparently, you and uh, <laughs> yeah. you and Eric last week had a conversation about, hey, the, the Equipment Zone Smart Car that's completely wrapped is out front, and and, uh, and uh, Jim should go by and get the keys and drive it away. And uh, so we haven't seen it since, nor, yeah. nor Jim. <laughs> all right, all right well, well, good. I I told him that that Harry wouldn't mind. So uh, <laughs> definitely a lot of fun. So um, yeah. So Terry, we're getting a little f feedback that uh, there's a little echo on your side, a little far away. But this is the joys of doing this from a uh, a hotel. So exactly, um, yeah. it's not always ideal, but that's what that's what happens. We we got to get Terry here, and it just means he happens to be on the road. So. Um, you guys, if it if it gets real bad, I'll just mute him and we'll yeah, be okay. Like usual, <laughs> <laughs> uh, for sure. So, all right, well, good. Uh, 
glad to have you kind of checking in with us here, Terry, and, and appreciate you making the time for us this morning. And, and uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I had one announcement that came across that I thought was uh, cool. We've had Dave uh, Pomeroy on our show before here, a friend of ours. Uh, he's with NBM. So uh, he's been named the new president at NBM, uh, which wow. is really cool. So Dave, uh, Dave's been a veteran of the NBM national business media company for 25 years and has held uh, numerous roles and uh, became the company's new president effective yesterday, August 1st. So wow. uh, the company's founder and CEO, Bob Weber, made that announcement. Uh, Bob's still retaining the CEO title, but uh, Dave's going to be uh, steering that ship a little bit more. So really cool. Hopefully uh, yeah. we get a chance awesome. to talk to him soon and uh, maybe get him on the program to discuss that uh, big well, change it, for him. You know, interestingly enough, we had him in the intro this morning. So there I we know we, we randomly pick those. and uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Awesome. And I don't even hear him, so. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Something we have to iron out. That's yeah. That's why I jump in first. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> we, right. We, we've got our Band-Aid on it. So, yeah, so that, I saw that. I thought that was cool. I wanted to just say congratulations yeah. to Dave and uh, um, definitely good stuff coming out of them over there. So looking forward to uh, talking to him soon. But yeah, uh, yeah, so that's not a not a ton of other news items that I saw. So uh, and with with Terry being on the road, he just sees the people that come to the show. That's it. Exactly. <laughs> Poor exactly guy. Right. Uh, for sure. Hey, uh, here we want to we want to thank all of our regular listeners, the regulators, and any new listeners today who are tuning in. If you have an idea for a future show, go to our contact us page at two the number two regular guys, <laughs> or you can reach out to us on social media. We are everywhere as two regular guys. And if you are watching us right now in the live video via Facebook Live, please jump in, participate. We, we'd love to have some of your insight on, the, on our subject today. And with that, Aaron, let's hear a word from our gold sponsor. Aaron, uh, it looks like the, the, the audio is not playing for the uh -oh. commercial. Huh. <laughs> that is so, odd. I know you don't right. hear it on your end. I just uh, saw it pop up from our show producer, Eric. But uh, uh, okay. we'll, we'll try to get that, try to get that commercial running. And uh, but Yeah, we we'll, we'll get it into the podcast version. I'm not sure what happened there. I, I could hear it on my end and everything. Weird. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just contrary to what we always do. If you yeah, hear it yeah, on your it's, end, it's not. It's not going live. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well, definitely. Right. We'll, we'll, yeah. Check out our brilliance. Um, in fact, Eric, throw some information in the comments here real quick for us, too, if you can, because I know uh, their beta is now live. Uh, and and I, I don't know all the details specifically, but uh, um, anyhow, you want to check this, uh, check that out. It uh, says check out brilliance.com to see the brilliance difference. No dongles, no install limits, just the tools you need. Um, so definitely check that out we'll in the podcast version we'll get that it'll be seamless nobody even know that uh, this was here so tara we're gonna yeah, take a brief, 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 here where we talk yep, about it <laughs> brief pause. okay there we go <laughs> all right, all right. Well, so remember to use to, uh, the code right yep. go ahead Tara. yeah thanks again to bright Lake for their support and uh they are a gold sponsor right now if you uh we have other sponsorship opportunities available go to two the number two regular guys dot com slash sponsorship excellent yep and and again thank you very much to Brilliance for their support that code is awesome we love it when uh, we can pass on savings to our listeners to the regulators terry and speaking of regulators uh, our good friend jesse martinez is joining us here and he said mount up um i was looking at being able to like have a set uh, effect 
but uh, I, I've discovered that that comes with a hefty payment that we'd have to pay to uh, Mr. Warren G. So um, <laughs> <laughs> not in the budget yet. So. <laughs> right. Exactly. exactly. So uh, anyhow. All right. Well, here. Are you ready to uh, jump in? I think so. And I, I do want to just real quick also remind all of the live listeners here, everybody tuning in, that uh, as I mentioned at the top of the show, please feel free to throw your comments in there about what working on your business means to you. Um, I saw one from Todd earlier, but it's way gone in the comments. So maybe you can post that back and, <laughs> and we'll, we'll, we'll co comment on that. Um, you know, things like that. And I also a reminder that uh, we're going to have uh, Cheryl Kuchek uh, joining us after we get done with this conversation to Terry to give us an update on the uh, educational experience at the upcoming sublimation summit. So uh, yeah, exactly. we know that uh, yeah. our listeners had a lot of interest in that. In fact, we had some people sign up with, with our, code from my understanding of it. So we appreciate you guys taking advantage of sure. that and getting that savings. But uh, yeah, excited about the education there. I'm I'm going to actually get out of my little office here for that. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's dive well, in, Terry. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Aaron, uh, as you and I often talk about, it's, it's so easy to get caught up in the day to day. Uh, but to maintain your lane, to grow your business, you have to you have to plan for short and long term success. And there's, you know, lots of different ways to, to accomplish that. But Aaron, one thing that, uh, you know, you, you've been involved in uh, a lot recently is, is business planning. And so um, why has planning your business, so actually getting a phys physical business plan together, why has that become such a passion for you? Yeah, you know, it, it is. It is a real a big passion for me. Uh, Todd will attest in his, uh, his wholesale group. We actually just got done with a little watch party segment about a, it was about a 10 day uh, event where we went back and watched some videos that I did on the whole business planning series, follow up, hold each other accountable. It was it was cool. It was super expiring. So um, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. But you know, as, as I guess I'm trying to remember how long it's been since I've become just an, a consultant. It's been several years, three, four, yeah. something like that. <laughs> so within that, you know, I've, I've, uh, and, and throughout my career, but really, especially since I become, uh, just my own consultant here, it, it, I work with a lot of different small businesses and, and it's really interesting to kind of be able to step back, look at, look at things from the outside looking in. And, um, you know, it's, I've, I've feel like I've gotten a little bit of a knack for kind of looking at things uh, and going, okay, yeah, I think this person's got a pretty good chance, you know, and, and there's also times where I go, boy, you know, this person, it, it, they're trying their butts off, uh, it, but I think they're going to struggle a little bit and, and hopefully, uh, you know, we can help them not struggle. So, you know, I just really got me thinking a lot more about that. And, and, uh, you know, through, through this deal that I'm going through here, the uh, success principles thing and, and the train the trainer program that I'm doing there, um, I, it forced me to really think about what my why is, you know, wh why do I get out of bed in the morning? Why, you know, why have Terry and I've been doing this for seven years? You know, sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes it's a, a drag, but most of the time it's awesome. You know, so why is that? What, what makes it, you know, I, we've been talking to those folks for seven years and, and what makes them succeed? What's that key to success? So, um, you know, kind of, as I discovered my why, I kind of good, said, you know what, the people that I feel really confident about it at first and knowing that they're going to have a really good uh, chance at this, those are the folks that uh, can clearly describe what the why is for their business, wh what what they do to, you know, that, that they can kind of explain it to people. And um, then they can do it clearly enough that they can share it with the other stakeholders. So why they're doing it, what their vision is for the future of their business, um, and then they have a plan to get there. So that was a <laughs> light bulb finally went off and I said, there it is. That's what it is. That's what the key is. And so I felt like business planning was the perfect medium for all that. And, and when I say that word, I always kind of get this like, ah, cringe, you know, jump. I, oh, yeah. that sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not, you know, it, 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 the business planning actually should be really fun. It, there's no right or wrong answer. You, you you're not getting graded on it. It's it's for you and and you only, um, you know, your company and and the people involved. And it's really should be the, kind of what energizes you to kind of get your business going. You, you think about all the things you need to be doing. You put some research and effort into it, and that gives you a chance to think through all the possible roadblocks before you actually start blowing your money on things. 
you know, and, right. and I think that's where, so the, the other folks that just kind of dive right in, you know, they end up with 27 machines that they don't need or don't know how to use and, you know, or something sits in the box for years. And it's like, ah, man, I hate that. You know, I hate seeing them struggle like that. So, so that was it. That was really kind of what, what the, uh, where that passion came from for me to, to kind of put my finger on that. And I feel like the business planning thing is really cool. Like I said, we just wrapped up a, a deal in, in Todd's wholesale face, uh, Facebook group. And it was, it was a blast. Uh, we had about 25 people participate, went through some things, you know, Todd is a, a fantastic, uh, holds people accountable, you know, and, that, and that's not been a strength of mine necessarily. You know, I'm more of a, a around the corner. Hey, you want to do this? Come on. It's okay. I'm an encourager, <laughs> not a, Hey, do it yeah. or you're going to fail <laughs> kind of guys. <laughs> um, anyhow, it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. So that that's, that's my why, but Terry, I, I also obviously get a lot from you. What, 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 what's your take on all that? What, what's, you know, I know you're a big proponent of planning in general, but business plans and stuff like that. So what's your take on it? Yeah, I'm that guy that writes everything down on the on the junior legal. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> junior, junior legal pad. <clears throat> but, um, well, you know, I, I think the biggest thing, Aaron, is is to kind of put things in perspective for yourself. It's that, that, that business plan isn't necessarily something you have to hand to somebody. It's just you taking that information, writing down what, what do I want to accomplish here? Why am I why am I going to commit to this business? I, I was talking yeah. to someone yesterday <clears throat> and uh the reason that he wanted to get into direct to garment printing was he's jobbing out to someone. And he said, there's a local business in uh, a little town uh, down South. And he said, there, there's a person who has a machine. Uh, she comes to work when she feels like it. She takes the long lunch. She, uh, she, if she decides to take, uh, you know, a week off, she just puts a sign in the window. I'll be back on, on May 5th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he and I were having this conversation about, you know, that's not an entrepreneur. That's not somebody that, that is going to uh, be successful. Obviously, uh, the, the, there's the commitment. There's the um, well. As I always say, being an entrepreneur gives you the freedom to work all the hours there are in the day. <laughs> I steal that. I steal that quote from you all the time, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you know, Aaron, and, and I'm not saying that hey, you have to be there 24 seven, but you you have to have that commitment. And and part of that is to write down here's what I'm doing. Here's why I'm doing it. Here's how yeah. I want to accomplish it. Here's, here's where I want to go. And, and that's yeah. probably the, the most important part of it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's perfect. Yeah. I, I think you're, you just nailed it right there. It's, it is about where, um, where you want to go. And, and that's why for me, I, I really kind of hung my hat on this whole guardrails to success thing. Cause like I said, I, I think business planning or having a business plan has a huge PR problem where people just cringe, you know, at it and, yeah. and they just, yeah. it, it's foreign, it's, it's overwhelming, it, it, but it's not, it's actually should be fun. Um, I was uh, reading, reading, I do in quotes because uh, I use audibles, but uh, I was reading uh, <laughs> Finding Your Why, a book by Simon Sinek, uh, kind of the follow-up book to uh, start with why. And uh, he was explaining about kind of finding your why and that, that, that starting point is being kind of like the starting gun for a race. You know, it, it's supposed to kind of get you going, get you excited, get you ready. But what the real important part is your journey along the race, you know, and, and somebody like myself, somebody like Simon Sinek can't give you that. You've got to do the journey part yourself. And, and, and so again, you know, just business planning, the planning stuff in general that you and I always talk about, Terry, is just a, gives you that that guardrail so you don't have that epic fail and fall off the cliff, you know? <laughs> right. You know, Aaron, it, it's funny too because uh, don't overthink this because uh, I was <laughs> that's at, a great point. I was, I was at a peer group once and, uh, and everybody, in the, I, you know, I was the garment decorating guy and every, there were all these other, nobody was in the same type of business and and uh, one of our meetings was at this gentleman's uh, uh, business location. They were very successful, but he said they they were working on this business plan and they've been doing it for 18 months. And I'm like, what? 18 months? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know here, here part of the, the, the deal about the guardrails. Uh, you're going to be skidding and, and causing sparks on both sides. 
yeah. just stay stay in the lane. But <laughs> but it's it's okay to <laughs> yeah. You you're all over the place. The yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've you've got the hammer down, and you're just bouncing off the guardrails. That's totally right. fine. That's what they're there for <laughs> in this case. But, so. but if your plan is taking eighteen months, you are you are doing some some serious over planning. <laughs> correct. Correct. Well, yeah. I mean, and then that was what was so cool about the the event that I got to do with Todd recently was that. We did it in 10 days, you know, and it's, yeah. yeah, we didn't do full, full on business plans, but that's so, that's okay. I mean, it was the fact that they're thinking about key parts of their business along the way. That's all that it's all about. And that's really cool. So yeah. I wanted to share what Christine Shree from Enmart here said, and you can't read it all because it gets cut off and we're still working with BeLive on getting that fixed. But uh, I think business plans scare people because once you write down a plan, it's real and you're accountable to it. Yeah, yeah there's the, there's the underlying <laughs> exactly. word there. As long exactly. as nothing is written down, you don't have anything that's measurable. So <laughs> I love it. How, that is, is How is it that Christine true. always boils down what we're talking about too? Yeah. A couple of sentences and yeah. yeah, she's exactly correct. If if we if we only had the uh, the money for it, Tara, we could just put her on staff to make us sound good, you know? I know, I know. <laughs> like, well, you know, we spend all of our money on Eric uh, doing our being our producer. Yeah. Oh wait, no, we don't. Yeah, <laughs> Eric, you'll have to split your pay with her. Oh wait, there. No. <laughs> um, so Joe Hortonhouse says, uh, working on the business is figuring out the next step for what will make the most improvement in either your process or products. Also, sharing your story with your customers so they know why your company exists this um yeah that that's uh you i think we could just read comments here terry and and cover this whole thing this is perfect yeah. so uh. <laughs> I'll, I'll take my computer we'll go down to the casino yeah uh, you, can, you can read comments i'll walk around among the the binging and popping and uh, the music that's about to start out by the pool so <laughs> totally <it'd> be perfect <laughs> but, um, but you know you know aaron uh, the biggest thing is i think is 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 writing it down puts it in perspective for you you know and and again it's it's not a you know it, it doesn't have to be a, a dissertation it's it's you writing some things down and kind of getting uh into a position where you're like yeah yeah that's that's exactly why i'm doing this thing so correct. Right. Yeah. yeah. I had one person tell me as we we're going through that, that experience um, of, of reviewing things because you know, they would send me missions, homework assignments, and, and I would give them feedback. And it was it was really cool. You know, it was really super inspiring. I had one person say to me, you know, oh, I'm not really good at this writing. It doesn't sound professional. And I was like, I, and I, my response was, who cares? As long as exactly. you connect with it, as long as it says what you want it to say. I mean, it, this is all about, you know, Everything that happens in our lives, in our worlds, in our businesses was created in our brains first. You know, that there's two two creation right. processes. And if if it's just kind of your uh, unconscious rolling through and, and just kind of, you know, hammering out, doing the day to day stuff, that's what's going to keep happening. So you've got to create what you want in your head first. And that's where the planning comes into play is, is that let's create it, get it there, and then we can make it reality. So exactly. Oh, it's a lot exactly of fun. Right. I, th I think it's exciting and fun. So, hey, if I can <laughs> share that excitement. <laughs> well, it, 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 it's all a part of being in business. You know, you have to you have to cover all the bases. You know, maybe maybe you're a great artist or or maybe you love the production work or maybe yeah. you're an accountant. But yeah. uh, but, you know, you got to cover all the bases. And uh, and uh, what if you're none of those things? What, what if I'm none of those things, Terry? <laughs> that's why i don't have a decorating business <laughs> but I can anyway. help. all right cool well let's keep going yeah we got some great stuff to get to here still so yeah go ahead. exactly so so aaron uh besides business planning what are some of the uh the other keys to be to, to have successful business yeah yeah that, that, thanks for asking me that i i uh um yeah. Again, I've had a, a lot of opportunity to think about this. Uh, I think I mentioned it. I'm not sure if I mentioned it here. I definitely talked about it on Small Business Saturdays, but uh, I've signed up for a program called Train the Trainer. I'm going to be a certified uh, success principles trainer and uh, through the Jack Canfield uh, success principles deal. And um, that was that was an investment. It was a massive investment of, of uh, money. But uh, then I've also discovered it's also a massive investment of time, which I have very little of because I'm a time optimist. Um, <laughs> so so within that, though, I started thinking about, you know, he's got 67 principles for success and, and you know, there's a lot of overlap and, and all really good 
quality stuff. And I wanted to pick out three that stood out to me, you know, especially as it relates to what a business owner can wrap their heads around and, and, and digest enough. So I, I did this. Uh, in fact, I wrote an article that's going to be coming out in October in uh, A&E magazine. Uh, so I've got a column there every other well, this time it's every two months because they had to, they had to bump me a month, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> they, uh, yeah. Uh, um, hold on one second here. I got a little feedback. I got be live. Still got a couple things we gotta fix up here. So all right, okay. So uh, anyhow, um, that that article's coming out in October. Uh, my rising tide of business uh, uh, deal there. So anyhow, um, from that, here's what I came up with. Number one is believe. You have to believe that you can do it. So um, the quote that stood out to me from, you know, I, I've been finding quotes that just seem to always match up with what I'm thinking. It's been kind of, I don't know, like do, 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 do. <laughs> um, but uh, if you can dream it, you can do it. And that was uh, from Walt Disney. And uh, that's, uh, <laughs> Christine says, yeah, time optimist. Is that a polite way of saying you're always late or running behind? <laughs> I did kind of stop on that myself. Thinking, man, that's a that's a beautiful way of saying it. <laughs> saying you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. That uh, I don't know, Christine. I don't I don't know how to answer that. Um, yes, is the answer. <laughs> I, I, I think if you put it on a business card, it's okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Aaron Montgomery, I'm optimist. I'm optimist. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. So um, Todd says it's science. Thank you, Todd. Uh, okay. Science. So that's number one, number two, uh, be willing to pay the price, meaning invest in your business, invest in yourself, invest in the things that are, you know, don't, don't look at something that's in front of you going, oh my God, that's $3,000. And that's just, you know, not something I can do today. Okay is there another way or what does that $3,000 potentially bring to you in the future? So be willing to invest. Don't just always be the, the cheap, cheap guy. You know, I mean, it's okay to save money and, and do the right things and, and spend wisely in your business. But there's also times where you just got to invest. You got to get out there and, and do it. So the quote that uh, came along with that, sorry, get muted there. All right. Quote that came along with that it was, uh, if people knew how hard I worked to gain my mastery, it would not seem wonderful at all. And that's from Michelangelo. So um, <laughs> that seemed to resonate with that one. And You know, Aaron, uh, I, I remember uh, uh, when we had Pierre on our show and yeah. he had won all these awards and only been a screen printer for three years. And we asked him on the show, well, how did you accomplish it? And he goes, it was really easy. All I had to do was work 100 hours a week. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And that's totally the point. The, the, that's great. I love that. That's a perfect story that brings it back to, to us here. You know, all of these people that were great and did great things in, in their lives, you know, it, what we see is like the, the, the tip of the iceberg of, of what's actually right. happened for them. We don't see all of the work and all of the things that they did to get to that point. So um, yeah, put, put in the effort, be willing to pay the price. Third one. Uh, and this kind of goes back to business planning a little bit. So I'm cheating. It's not, <laughs> but uh, keep score for success. Uh, basically give yourself a, a measurable way to understand what's working and what's not working. And, and I think that's, the, the part that I think we, we get all these ideas, dreams, goals, and we kind of get them there, but then we don't go back and measure them and understand, hey, is this hard work that I'm putting in every day actually leading to where I want it to lead me to? So that, that's, uh, that's the third one. And here's the uh, quote, and this is actually from Jack Canfield. Uh, he says, 3% uh, of people have measurable written goals in their lives. Also, unsure if it's related, 3% of the population owns 90% of the resources in the world. So... Um, <laughs> I believe it's related. <laughs> I, I believe it so as well. And, and uh, I, I, I want our listeners to appreciate how excited you were to go see Jack Canfield. And you were, you were, you were like, uh, it, it was, it was Disney World for you. It was. <laughs> it really was. I don't know if that's sad or not, but uh, two days from now, I'm going. <laughs> yep, yeah, totally. Yeah. I, <laughs> It really was. And I'm not sure if that's sad or not, but it's just been a really cool experience to to kind of get to, to live that. And and now now I'm part of the world, part of his world. So it's kind of fun. There you go. <laughs> Every time I, I, he I, I, uh, replies to one of my comments on Facebook. Yeah, I'm still like a 
kid going to Disney World. Mickey Mouse said <laughs> hi to me. You know? <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so, so Aaron, uh, besides market marketing, planning, uh, uh, or, or besides you know what we've been talking about, yeah, how, yeah. how about market, marketing planning and how does that all fit into the to the the greater uh, picture of your business? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still, you know, as I've gotten into this business planning thing and gotten more deeply involved in that, um, I'm still a marketing guy at heart. So, in fact, uh, when I did the whole di business planning series, I actually put the marketing plan ahead of like goals and milestones and, and realized that was probably not right. I just got excited about the marketing part of it because <laughs> that's what I love to do. You know, you got branding and every, all the, everything. Um, <laughs> so, the marketing plan is is to me there there are five maybe six really key things about a business plan that you want to work on. Um, it, there's a lot more to it, but I think if you can work on those five or six things, you, you get a majority of what you need to work on. You know, the first one's kind of finding your why. The second one's defining the people. Uh, the the third one is setting your goals and milestones. The fourth one is a marketing plan. Fifth one's budgets. And then the sixth one is, is would I go to Terry for the information on operational planning and, and getting that part. And we'll get to that in a little bit. But like I said, <laughs> that marketing plan is is a really important part of, of planning, I think. And, and honestly, if you just have a marketing plan, you're going to be way further along than most people still. So I wouldn't recommend that. But you know, it, it's certainly something that you, you want to spend some time on. So a marketing plan's got these key things. I'm going to just read off my list here so I don't miss anything. But uh, it it's kind of starts off with a, a SWOT analysis, strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, and um, and a market analysis so you kind of understand what it is that you're, you're getting yourself into as far as the marketing you're going to be doing. Um, and then you need to really kind of get a clear profile of your ideal customer and ideal orders. You know, that that, that kind of comes back. I had a uh, young lady at one of the, my seminars come to me and say, you know, I've just been getting all of this, this work, you know, I, people, I, I, I want to do embroidery and I keep getting all this alteration work that I, I, I don't like doing. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. So we talked for a little while longer and, and uh, finally got her to uh, fess up to the fact that she's been posting on her Facebook page alterations that she's done because she thought they were cool. <laughs> And, and that was, you know, and she was just getting started and that was all she had as far as a, um, you know, something to share and yeah, telling uh, your story. Yeah. Yeah. Telling your story. And I, and I like, well, it, just because you not, you know, just go do the embroidery you want to, you want to do, even if it's not a job, you know, do it for yourself, do it for and share that, but you're sharing that. So that's what you're getting in, you know, <laughs> it, it, Hey, so she didn't understand what her ideal order was. She was just trying to get everything. Um, so that, that part, uh, let's see next part your product and services mix, what your pricing strategy is going to be. But, the, and then, then the real nuts and bolts happen, your marketing strategy. And it basically, am I going to do Facebook ads? Am I going to do email campaigns? Am I going to go to a trade show? Am I going to go to a home show? Those kinds of things. And, and within that, you know, you just want to set some goals for those things. And, uh, you know, so that, that's a, a big part of it. Um, I actually have a, strategies template that I'm working on. It's going to be offered as a, as a paid, uh, project here in a little bit, but right now it's in its first draft stages. So I'm still working on it and I've decided to go ahead and just make that available for free for folks. So, um, I'm going to pop this up nice. here. Um, and just to, so people can see it here real quick. Uh, so if you go to my website, aaronmontgomery.info slash templates, if I get that on the screen there, um, you can sign up to be notified, uh, when things happen, but after you sign up for that, you'll get a link to this free marketing strategies template. So, um, love for you Thanks. to check that out. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm excited to to grow and and build that. So um, check that out. And then from there in your marketing plan, uh, what we talked about with Joe not too long ago, Joe right now, um, and and with Jay previously, that kind of design and style guide is is the other key piece of a marketing plan. So so that's that's marketing planning. You know, that's kind of the quick nitty gritty of it there. Before you know, I, I take up right. all of the time for for today because. I want to get to some things that uh, that you have talked about and told me about in the past. I think are really fun to share. So, sure, time to time to turn the tables, Terry. You've been interviewing right. me here for right. a little bit. It's my turn to <laughs> interview you. And uh, so, what are some of the key planning tasks you focus on, and how does that translate to our decorators, the the regulators that are listening in here? 
You know, Aaron, I uh, like uh, I'll give an example of my screen printing classes. I'll have people come who are just starting. People have been in, in business for a year. People have been in, who've been in business for twenty years. And one of the things that I talk to them about is you, sometimes you just have to stop and think about your business. And and my example is, um, you know, a lot of people can't wait to hire employees because they they don't like screen printing, for instance. They don't like yeah. to actually do it. They love yeah. the business. I always like doing it. Yeah. But uh, and so I go in on Saturdays uh, and w even when I first had employees and, and I print a few jobs and just kind of be quiet there. And I just think about my business. And and uh, and I will tell people in class, here's where this idea came from, because they'll be like, oh, my gosh, this this is revolutionary to my business. Just just what you told me. I could go home right now. <laughs> and I'm like, this is this is for me standing in the middle of my shop, just thinking, OK, there must be a better way to do this. Now I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna figure it out here on Saturday. You know, nice. you're, you're podcasting on or you're you're doing your show on Saturday. I was kind of doing the same thing just by myself. I'd be like, "What what's a better way to accomplish this task? Let me let me step by step go through this and and figure out how how to make this more productive more than anything. You know yeah. how how can you know I was a I started out life as a contract printer and. And I remember our friend Scott Fresler used to say, "No, nobody wants to be a contract printer because it's quarters falling off the dryer belt, not dollars." Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, well, you know, uh, being a contract printer made me a better a better decorator because I had to be efficient at what I did. And so I would I would just spend time in my shop all by myself and, and just think about how can I how can I I squeeze this task down to this and make it work. And, yeah. and, you know, my classes, uh, Aaron, you know, this uh, yeah. are based on 40 years of me going, how can I do this better? There must be a better <laughs> way to accomplish this task. And, and, and you know, I, I tell people, uh, cause Hey, you, you and I have both been paid consultants and I always say to people, you know, you should be your own consultant to start with and, and just stop doing your business and start thinking about how to how to make your business better. And uh, Aaron, you know, we've talked about this before on the show. Uh, I I did a consultation uh, with a company once, and the uh, the president of the company, I could tell he was getting mad as I'm giving him my forty page report <laughs> talking about his business. And he said, uh, he goes, Terry, eighty percent of what you're telling me, we already know. And I'm like, I I know that too. You're just not doing anything about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> You had to pay me to come and tell you, well, you know this, and, and now today is the day that you need to fix it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, time, time to do, time to do this. <laughs> exactly, exactly right. So that was, uh, that was uh, well, that was actually a consultation job that I did. It was there for two weeks, and six week, six years later, uh, I left there. So, <laughs> <laughs> so they hired you. That's good. <laughs> they did. I, I was uh, done being mad about the fact I was telling him, Things he already knew he wasn't doing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, good. Well, I'm glad that uh, <laughs> glad that that worked out for you. I was I was worried that he was just going to kick you out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, so Terry, one of the other things that you've talked about before uh, in the past that, that I've always kind of really hung on to and and, and love this theory, and I want to get some more info from you. It's you, you're you've got this concept called fifty two fifteen. Um, in fact, right. I, I'm not sure how active some of your your email lists and some of that stuff are still, but I know you were really uh, on that. Um, but where did you come up with that? What does that mean? You know, what's, what's that concept all about? Uh, you know, uh, 52, 15 means uh, 52 weeks, 15 minutes a week. And, and the, the concept really came from, uh, you know, Aaron, uh, and I don't know if all of our listeners know this, I, I've kind of bounced around the country to larger and larger production shops. And, uh, and, and by the way, if you're printing in your garage or in your basement uh, and you think, well, I'm having all these issues, but gosh, that guy across town, you know, that has 75 employees, he's got it figured out. No, he doesn't. Uh, <laughs> he, he, he's got the exact same issues that you have. And, and uh, I, I, I would go into shop after shop where, where the employees just had the just basic knowledge of what they're doing. Didn't know why, uh, why are you doing this? Well, because they told me to do it like this. And, um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I thought, you know, if, if if people could just spend 15 minutes a day, or I'm sorry, 15 minutes a week, to just talk about how this business works, or uh, squeegees, or talk about 
uh, in direct to garment, maybe substrates. And and here's, uh, you know, in direct to garment, we say, you know, you should use ring spun cotton. Well, why? Yeah. Well, because yeah. ring spun cotton threads are thinner, and, and so you have a tighter weave. But but most people, most employees, especially know that, well, they said ring spun cotton and I saw it on the internet. So that was, <laughs> but why, but why ring spun cotton, you know? So uh, my theory is that spend 15 minutes at the start of the week, not at the end, because you'll never do it, at the start of the week, just to talk about one tiny subject. And at the end of the year, all of a sudden you have a staff that's very, very knowledgeable, first on, on how to do things, but yeah. also why that you do these things and, yeah. and 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 then you can be a little more fast on your feet if you know the why so that's, cool. that's what 5215 is all about right on man i love it that's a fantastic concept and and yeah like i said it, it's it's not a lot of times we we get employees in and you say just go do this but if you can actually explain to them the why like you said what is the reason that we do it this way right, right. um then then they can connect with their own thoughts about it and, you know, th hey, they might even help you better your process. Wouldn't that be nice if your employees <laughs> cared about the business as much as you did? Well, if they don't know the why of what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and uh, Aaron, uh, another example I've used here on the show before was uh, I was in a shop and the uh, there were seven production artists there. And every time they'd send film positives out to the production floor, they would log it in a book, uh, who the customer was, how many films went out, the uh -huh. date, the time. And uh, there were volumes of these. And so I'm, I'm talking to the art director and I said, uh, who, uh, who uses that information? And she looks at me like, I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> let, let me ask you another question. How often, how many times, and you've been here, what, two years? How many times has somebody walked in here, pulled one of those books down, looked in it to find something, to look it up and aha, there it is. She goes, <laughs> well, well, never. And I'm like, well, here's the deal. I don't want you to ever write in this book again. And she was, she was panicked. <laughs> she, <laughs> went, she went to the president of the company and said, listen, this consultant guy, he's telling me not to log these film positives in, in, in presence. Like, well, why? Well, because nobody ever looks at it. And he goes, well, yeah, stop doing that. <laughs> you know, uh, it, so that you're going to get resistance when, when you, uh, when you do any of these kind of things. And, but, but the more it makes sense to people, uh, the easier, you know, that, that, that ball's rolling down the hill faster and faster because all of a sudden people are buying into, well, yeah, why am I doing that? Yeah, let's not do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, Terry, so um, people that are watching the, the live version here can see me giggling because I'm reading the comments over here and there's some funny stuff. Uh, Christine started off by saying, haven't heard about 5215 before, great concept. And then Eric chimes in and says, uh, sounds like another merch design, <laughs> kind of like the uh, Stone Cold uh, from wrestling fame or, or John, you know. <laughs> so Christine followed that up with T Terry 5215. Will that be like signs and, and merch that we see at trade shows? I, I think, <laughs> I think so. so. I think we can make that happen. I know some decorators. So. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. Hey, I actually, uh, I, I just sold a direct to garment printer to the WWE people. It just reminded me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see the first guy ripping his shirt open and say, yeah, they printed that on my printer. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. Very merch. cool. <laughs> uh, all right. So as, as we've talked, you've run a lot of uh, production from, from small to large and, and everything in between. Um, I guess my question for you is, how do you get more production out of, of folks? You know, what, what is it just going out there and say, hey, work harder, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, <laughs> I didn't think so. but but, you know, a lot of people do that. That's that's their management style. What well, do it because I said so. But but, uh, you know, more than anything is asking the people who are doing that job. Uh, what would make your job easier? What would make this flow better? Nobody knows more about your production uh, flow than the people actually doing it. And, 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 you know, those people are going home at night telling their husband or telling their wife that, man, if we do it like this, this would be so much easier. Well, don't do that. Tell me, tell me that. <laughs> so, tell the people who can do something about it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So here's, here's, here's the concept, everybody out there. Uh, order pizza, order some sodas, uh, sit down for two hours and say, go around the room. 
what one thing would make your job easier? Because making your job easier means making your job more productive. And, and because everybody comes to work wanting to do a good job and, and you have to have that in your head because a lot of uh, a lot of owners and, and, and managers don't know that about their employees N nobody wants to come to work and do a crappy job nobody does and so uh those folks are the ones who know how to make that job easier which means more productive and here's the uh, the other end of it you, you have to do something about it so you're making that list of of okay if we did this if we did this if we did this and a month from now you have to go back and say okay let's go through the list and 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 jim you suggested this okay we didn't implement that but let me explain to you why we didn't i love the idea but let me explain to you why we we didn't do that or jane you know that was an awesome idea and as you well know we implemented that the next day and, and now we are this much more productive in our shop but but trust the people out there First of all, to do a good job, trust their ideas because they are out there, uh, you know, loading thread. They're out there pulling a squeegee. They're out there making screens. They're out there uh, pulling boxes off of the UPS truck. That they know how to make this job better. So trust them and and uh, and, uh, and reward them for uh, for their ideas. If if nothing else, uh, in front of the entire group, say, you know, Jane had this idea. And now we're doing it, and and uh, all of our lives are easier for it. So that's that's my concept of not work harder, but <laughs> you tell me how to you tell me how to make this better. Correct, correct. <laughs> so, yeah, Cindy Cindy King says uh, our kids work for us. Telling them to work harder does not work. So, <laughs> yeah, you got you got to inspire them. And, and I and I love the point that you made there, Terry, about because you you know you said hey you know. Jane gave this and letting people know. So they, they feel like they're part of it. But I also like the point that you made, you know, when somebody has an idea that just won't work for, for whatever reason that right. you also acknowledge that too, you know, you don't just blow it off as like, Hey, that's a dumb idea. You know, it, you know, it, it, none of the right. ideas are, are dumb, but <laughs> basically though, what I'm trying to get to is that if you explain to them why that is the case, they'll, then they'll go back to the drawing board. You know, they they got something going exactly. on in their head. They want to help. They want to make an improvement. The second you shut them down, they're done. They're just yeah. going to show up for work. You know, so that's yeah. A you make that list and do nothing with it. You're never going to get another idea from them. Correct. Correct. Totally. Okay. Good stuff. All right. Well, we're we're getting close, and we got uh, uh, Cheryl still. But I had one more question for you, Terry, because uh, we know that. Uh, training and and all that kind of stuff's a big part of you and and what you're always talking about obviously we're that's big for two regular guys and then a lot of that comes from from you but what why is that so important though you, you know you talked about 52 15 training all that stuff you know what's if i've been doing this for 20 years and i'm pretty good at my craft you know do i still need training Every day, every day. <laughs> you know, it's kind of a setup. <laughs> if, 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 you, if you know it all, you need to go find another career. Because guess what? You don't. <laughs> but um, uh, he, here's the thing, and here's the uh, here's the the, the the false narrative that people have. Well, if I train you too well, you're going to go out and either start a business or take this my my secret knowledge of how to pull a squeegee and, and take it someplace else well guess what you don't have any secrets it's all the same everybody yeah. does the same thing but uh but when that person does leave if you have a well-trained staff you don't skip a beat yeah. you know if, if you um i have people say well I, i've got a i've got this printer and gosh i you know uh he doesn't show up to work on time but what am i gonna uh-oh All right. I'm not sure if anybody else lost Terry. If if I'm the only one, I'm sorry that I'm talking over him right now. Do if he's gone. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm still going. Okay. There. All right. Sorry that uh, it froze on my end. I don't know if that was just on my end. So anyhow, sorry. You keep missed, going. You missed some great stuff here. And I know. Might have to go back and listen to the show. But <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, anyway, a, a well-trained staff and, and and people leave for a thousand reasons. Not not necessarily because they're going to go compete with you or not because. They are going to uh, go and work for the competition, but but when they do leave, if everybody's well trained, you know you, you don't skip a beat. You don't skip a beat at all. It's yeah. uh, uh, you know you just keep moving forward. So 
uh, training is uh, is critically important to your ongoing success. You can't be locked into this employee is, is, is our lifeblood. If that person ever left, you know, we're destroyed. Never be in that position. Okay. All right. All right. Good stuff. Yeah. I mean, that that's a huge. And, and I love the fact that you're talking about, you know, if they leave, I think some of the most successful companies I've seen train their employees to a point where they expect them to leave. They sure. encourage them to leave if that's what their passions are. You know, you're going to have people that don't have that entrepreneurial drive. But if, you know, your company needs people that have that entrepreneurial drive, it should be on you to train them, to help them leave. You know, sure. it, it's it's that abundance mentality. I think we've talked about that before on the show. Yes. You have that abundance mentality that there's plenty for everybody. Let's all work together and, and make it happen. And, and in fact, uh, you know, I, there we go. There we go. It, it froze up on a, a couple other people, but uh, uh, secret knowledge and then eye rolling emoji from uh, producer Eric Campbell. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, Terry, I think we've covered enough here because we're d- definitely going to be in bonus time. We still want to talk to Cheryl here, and I think she's patiently we, we, waiting. We told Cheryl she would have 10 minutes, and we have four minutes to show left. So, yeah, we, we should probably <laughs> jump over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and we'll go to bonus time, Cheryl. It's okay. So sure. let's see if I can do that. It's kind of being a little janky on my end here. So best of luck to us. Here we go. Let's try this out. Uh, put, put three, two, one. Cheryl? Oh, no. I Cheryl, are you there? I am. <laughs> I okay, know. well, we can hear you. For some reason, the video part's not coming through. So um, I'll, I'll effort on that and figure out what uh, what we've got going on. I got on a there. big X on it and a red box. Okay, I've never so, had that before. Yeah, I, let's see if I do that. Should I try to redo it or something? You know what? I, can everybody hear Cheryl? I mean, if you want to restart, that's fine. I, I know Terry and I can hear you. Let's see if the folks exactly. in the comment section can hear you. You may be audio only version here. I have to go find a picture of you and pop you up there. It's like the old, <laughs> the old days of our podcast. Audio. Yeah. yeah well, for five, six years, that's how we did it. It was audio only. Probably, I think a lot of people probably wish that we'd go back I, to that. I was, on, I was on one of those shows. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. <laughs> All right. Well, Cheryl, you know what? I, I don't want to, you know, I want to keep everybody around. We've got good good viewership here. I want to, oh, there we go. Then, then it just left. Huh. <laughs> All right, Cheryl, you are going to have to redo. We may just have to, oh, there. Ah, we got it. I, I think I see her. I get to the right. <laughs> there we go. All right. I think this is going to be it. I think this is a winner. I think we got it. Hey, there she is. is. All right. Wow. We did see and be heard. Okay. All right. Jim says, tell George waiting that whole time. (laughs) That's right. Jim says, tell George to turn on the camera. (laughs) (laughs) George, Cheryl's husband. All right, Cheryl. Um, we had you yeah, on. You need to bring that car back, by the way. <laughs> um, so, Cheryl, we, we, we had you on and we were talking sublimation in the market and all the work that you're doing within the yeah. sublimation summit right now. It's uh, it's getting exciting. You got some uh, great stuff going on and uh, we wanted to have you back. You told yeah. me that you got some more information as far as some of the education that's uh, yeah. lots of great education. So the floor is yours. Okay. <laughs> well, please. we literally have less than two months away, which is almost hard Freaky. to comprehend. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, I do want to shout out to Dave beca- and tell him congratulations. Um, we had a great conversation at the NBM show and um they really want to do something to be a part, which I'm excited cool. about. So, yeah. Um, okay. So we have just an incredible lineup of people, including yourself. And I'm really, you know, I'm, I, I was talking to Car- Terry Combs at the show and um, I still want to talk to him. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's never too late, Terry. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have Aaron Knight, David Gross, Randy Bratz, um, Aaron Montgomery, Matt Vasella, Aaron Knight. Uh, sorry, I said that already. Uh, okay. Roger Wombalt, um, uh, Meredith. And how do you say Meredith's last name? I don't want to butcher Schwander? it. Schwander. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Karen Schultz, and she's with Coastal. Eric Furberry, Spritewood, uh, Chris Burnett. 
who is uh, Vapor Apparel, uh, Vic Patel, Sawgrass, uh, Jim Tenholder, Coastal, Jimmy Lamb, Joe Dovey, Anthony Lorenz, and Jay Spencer. Wow. And yeah, I, I mean, we have a lot of people um, that are going to be there speaking. Uh, Rich Zadonic, how can I forget Rich? Um, such cool stuff. So I just wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about some of the classes. Oh, Sean yeah. Copeland, for goodness sakes. He's our <laughs> keynote speaker. How could I forget Sean? <laughs> <laughs> well, so, sounds yeah. like you got a lot on your plate, so you're, you're forgiven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay, so um, Aaron Knight, and we have a lot of these that are going to be hands-on classes, so that's exciting. Wow. Um, one of the classes, um, actually several of the classes, I just want to just kind of give you some um descriptions yeah. um decoding the mystery of licensing i may have shared this one last time but i think this is such a great um class um the idea of licensing artwork can appear daunting but fear not and there she's also going to be talking about copyright licensing and stuff through an understanding of the basics you can dynamically boost your company sales with little risk and time invested how to find right license for your target market, how to pair the right art with the right products, how to um, make the right deal, how to negotiate contracts, how to manage royalties. Let's get some royalties going here. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> royalties are good. I mean, yeah, they're, they're great. Okay. So, Aaron, let's talk a little bit about yours. You've got some uh -oh. great classes. All right. I'm on the um, spot here. Yeah. So you remember which ones you're doing? You gave me five, no. but we're only doing three, I think, right? Well, I, I, there was, I, I told you I'd do what you need me to do because I think this is an awesome event. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to do three, please. <laughs> sounds like you got. It sounds like you got lots of folks. So you know oh they, they don't need gosh, to hear me we, that much. <laughs> I, I have to tell you, we. I mean, we have business. We have um, graphics. We have. Um, you know, the hands on mm -hmm. classes, we have a lot of those. So it's just so exciting. And um, you are going to be doing what guardrails to success. Yep, the, which we've talked about here today. Yeah, Perfect. yeah, yeah. yeah. What is so interesting. Recording. It's just, he's just going to play the recording of it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a little more interactive than that. It, 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 it'll be fun. <laughs> Good. So guardrails to success. What What else am I doing? Remind me. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Creating a profitable customer, customer, customer centric business. I believe that one. Yep. And yep. starting an e-commerce. Yes. What, cool worked what worked and what didn't and i think that that's really a big a big one for people because that's kind of where people get stuck yeah. and um you know from going from uh just having a, a business with their friends and their family to wanting to go to the next level yeah. so i think that that's really awesome we have somebody coming randy bratz who is with flyboy toys He's going to be teaching on Amazon, selling on Amazon, oh, which is amazing. Sweet. I'm sitting in on that one. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll make sure that I don't put you. I want to be in That's that okay. one, too. Okay. I'll, I'll try not If it doesn't to work out, it's okay. I'll I'll find him afterwards and just to yeah, get, right. get me the, the, yeah, so go ahead. That's the bolts of it, yeah? Okay. Yeah. So, um, and then Matt with TRW, you know, the rhinestone world, he's going to be yeah. there. I of course. I mean, I love all these guys they are amazing. So some of his classes get social, how I built my business through free social media marketing. Nice. That's going to be a great yeah. one. Yeah. Um, production tips and tricks, smart ways to save your business money and increase margins. Yes. Oh, and then man. I know, I know they're, they're just amazing. How I built my business from a bedroom to a warehouse. Woohoo. That's Gotta yeah. love it, right? Good stuff, too. <laughs> hey, Cheryl, I think I'm just going to come in at 10. Is that okay? <laughs> I know. I know. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, oh, my God, I want to take all these classes. I mean, I swear. <laughs> we have a, um, a guy going to be um, there. Um, Anthony, his name is actually Tony Lorenz. He's going to be doing photography, uh, photography 101 and 102. So 
um, two hours um, for the photography 101 and then photography 102. And he's going to be teaching on how to take photos manually, um, the lighting, how to set up a, um, a light box very wow. inexpensively. Yeah. So it's going to be great. Jimmy Lamb, of course, he's going to be there. <laughs> Uh -huh. um, Jimmy is teaching on create, getting started with Creative Studio and then beyond the basics of Creative Studio. I started playing with, with Creative Studio and I actually really like it. I was cool. surprised at how easy it is to get around. So that was kind of cool. Okay. Um, niches to riches. <laughs> uh, me and so, my niches. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so finding your niche in, in the marketplace. And then um, how to, so he's doing on pricing too. What do I charge for sublimated products? Which is one of the most uh, honestly uh, common questions that we get asked all the time in our group. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> and then Vic with uh, Sawgrass, yep. he's going to be teaching on, oh yes you can. <laughs> also known as breaking the rules of sublimation. And then his next one is the business of sublimation. Whether you are a thriving um, product decoration business looking to enhance and expand your offering or an entrepreneur looking to get started in the sublimation, join the class to learn the secrets of the sublimation success. So that's going to be it's going to be a great class. Vic is a very smart guy. Oh, for sure. Um, totally. Yeah. Yeah. He's really i mean that's the other one i want to take his class i want to take everybody's <laughs> class <laughs> i want to take your class Aaron. yeah so, <laughs> i want us to do a class actually. yeah so, somehow i'm gonna have to uh figure out how to just corner all these guys after the fact and just at least give them <laughs> give me their notes so. <laughs> i know right that, sure. i think i deserve that wait a well minute. <laughs> you should get that for sure uh, yeah i'm gonna I have I'm to gonna require it up front <laughs> uh, yeah that's a, that's a good point that's a good point right, exactly. cool I need to make sure that they're legit. So here's another one that has been asked over and over, and that is, um, and you know, the challenges with white toner printing. Mm -hmm. That's been a really big one. So um, we're we're going to have an easy subly actually. That's going to be a, a big one there. Joe um, Joe Piazza uh -huh. from Caesar is going to be there. Hollywood Joe. Hollywood yeah, Joe. Uh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. He's such a cutie, though. I do have to say, he's he's a cutie. <laughs> we'll take your word and for he that. Knows it. That's the thing. He knows hey, it. He does know. <laughs> it. He takes advantage of that fact. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, um, I'm not sure. Did I get enough tan? <laughs> he's hilarious. I love him. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, Joe Dovey from Uninet is going to be there, and uh, you know I hope you get to meet him, Aaron. Yeah, um, yeah. That's definitely I've had a, a chance to meet him. You've actually introduced me uh, to him oh, before. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. great, awesome. So he's going to be teaching a hands-on class on the eye color, from literally from taking it out of the box to printing to pressing. Cool. Um, and using the RIP software, they're going to be um, hands. It's a uh, heat transfer hands on tutorial with the eye color um, learning um, both one and two steps. Cool. One of the classes that uh, Jim Tenholder is going to be doing is uh -huh. it's all about that peel. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. So, yeah. Oh, so that about that peel. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, because it is about the peel. I mean, That's right. Let's we'll see if he's going to be rapping. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, well, with it, with the two step paper, you know, it is yeah. all about that peel and sure. Uh, making sure that it's successfully peels correctly. Awesome. That's the, you know, that's the hard part. Um, he, he transfer one on one with eye color. Um, oh, look, Jason, you joined. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, can't I wait for the summit. The so yeah. real quick, uh, I do also have to get to Todd's comment here, Cheryl, because he wants to the inquiring minds want to know, is Joe Piazza going to be bringing a shirt or or not? <laughs> it's, 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 you know, Todd, it's a really good question. <laughs> Honestly, it's a really good question. I'm not sure if you, you know, put it in his contract that he's not allowed to bring one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, 
Well, I, I mean, if it's up to me, yes, he'll be wearing a shirt. <laughs> oh, you know who else is going to be there? Um, and I mentioned earlier is Chris Benet with uh -huh. Vapor oh, cool. Apparel. He'll be doing a class on successfully printing Vapor shirts. Sweet. And everybody knows the challenge with that. So it's uh, anyway, we have a lot more classes, but I don't want to take up too much more time. Okay. Just well, want to make yeah, let's, sure that I have. Yeah, if there's anything else, but the, I, I really want to make sure people know what, you know, there's still room. It's probably limited there space is, available. Yeah, yeah, for sure there's limited space, but um, there is room. And we actually were able to get the conference center to allow us uh, to go bigger. Sweet. So, which was, which was really great. So, um, I'm excited about that. Yes, sublimationsummit.com. And if they if they put in a coupon code for you, it's two reg guys, two oh, yep. R E G. Yeah, you got it, guys. Oh, Fifty. Go. You put that back up there. There we go. It's at the <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. That's the coupon. Well, and it fifty. Oh, two uh, red guys, 50, 50. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. So they get $50 off of a two day, a two day pass. And, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, it's seriously going to be a lot of fun. So I'm sweet, super excited about it. And yeah, that is awesome. And, and thank you so much for the coupon code. That's great. We love, uh, giving the regulators some, some, uh, free money, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah totally cool. Stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, so on screen, so, uh, go to sublimationsummit.com. Go ahead, Cheryl. Yeah, well, you know, it's hard to believe it's only seven weeks away. <laughs> I have my is ticket. That crazy? So. It is crazy. It is crazy. I know. I'm so excited. I'm. I, I don't even know what to do with myself. Are you coming in on Thursday? Uh, I can't remember exactly right off the top of my head here. Um, fortunately, my wife helped me with uh, <laughs> getting that all together. So. Um, I think I think we are, but uh, yeah, I can't remember. Okay, so we'll we'll have to talk about that after. I need to just make sure that um, you know we have room for you and okay. all that. All right, <laughs> but you know your nights are good. All right, good, um, good, good. <laughs> Jason says great podcast. He's, thank you. Uh, yeah, Appreciate that, Jason. Yeah, good. It's really cool. So thank you awesome. for having me as always. Yeah, thanks for joining us. I look forward to it and I'm excited that Aaron Knight, who doesn't usually do these classes, is going to be doing two classes. That's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Such a great Cheryl, guy. Making it happen. It. You're making it happen. Thank you so much for uh, pulling this all together. It's really cool. Yeah. It is so much fun. Sweet. So Terry, if, if we don't have you this year, you, you better promise me you'll come next year. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> this is recorded, Terry. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> what, right. what, one more seminar, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Nice. Awesome. All right. All right, Cheryl. We'll have a great rest of your Friday and, and uh, we will so see much. you in Atlanta very soon. Uh, yes. September 27th Yay. through the 28th. And Peachtree City, Georgia, just uh, just south of uh, Atlanta proper, I believe, uh, yep. from what the yep. map showed me. So, and it's yep. absolutely. So, and by the way, for yep. um, just let's tell them, um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if there's any rooms left or not. I'll, I'll have to check. I mean, the last I checked, there was like five left. Oh, so wow. they've added and added and added. Um, but they do get for, you know, they'll be getting it for. Um, it's normally three forty nine, but with the fifty dollars off, they get it for two ninety nine, and they will get uh, breakfast, continental breakfast, and it's quite a spread. Nice. Um, yeah, lunch and beverages and snacks all day long. So cool. It, it's really a first class place. Yeah, self contained. It sounds like that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Looking forward all to right. it. All right, Cheryl. Thank you. Have a great day. All right, you too. Thank you. Nice <laughs> to see you again, Terry. <laughs> awesome cool well that was great to have uh cheryl joining us there and and uh good information exciting uh lots of lots and lots of education for sure so um definitely get get over there take advantage of that code all right terry well let's let's wrap this bad boy up we're well well into bonus time you probably have something that you need to do today i'm guessing uh let's see here uh you know what why don't you start us off terry what, what do you got coming up here 
class sure. wise and whatnot. Yeah, I, I've got uh, my complete screen printing business course. It's going to be at Atlas Screen Supply in uh, in Chicago, August twenty fourth and twenty fifth. Uh, August fourteenth, uh, I'll be participating in the free DPG class for Equipment Zone at MBM Long Beach, and of course, I'll be in the Equipment Zone booth August fifteenth through seventeenth. And Aaron, tomorrow I'm heading out for Huntington Beach to Surf City, USA for. Uh, a little, a little R and R with my uh, youngest daughter, and yeah, I'm gonna go out there and watch a band surfing championships. Uh, the, Are you doing any that. surfing? I'm not gonna be doing any surfing. Although uh, last time I was there, somebody did Photoshop me my head onto a surfer, so <laughs> that, that might be coming up as well. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. How, how about you, Aaron? What do you have coming? Um, so. Small Business Saturday is still happening. I've had some great shows. Had Eric Campbell on two weeks ago talking about Amazon. That was awesome. So go back and watch that. Uh, Todd actually calls Eric Batman, digitizer by day, uh, Amazon guru by night. <laughs> um, and uh, then we've got, uh, uh, and then Todd came on with, with me last week and we talked about Hustle. Uh, this week, it's going to be a little impromptu somewhere around noontime, uh, and I'm going to be doing it from the car as we drive to Fulton to visit my dad, uh, <laughs> answering a question from, from A&E about uh, getting, getting in front of people, getting uh, online, getting people to find your website. So uh, while my wife drives to uh, Fulton, which is about an hour away from us, uh, <laughs> I will be doing the Small Business Saturdays. So like I said, right go. around noon. Uh, so just just keep uh, keep your eyes peeled at facebook.com slash Aaron Montgomery dot info. Uh, and uh, that'll be fun. Um, I've talked about the digital marketing uh, webinar that I'm going to be uh, hosting Monday, November 11, 2019. And uh, I've got got some more details nailed down here. The cost is going to be forty nine dollars a person. But I mentioned that I'm going to be doing something special for the regulators and uh, regulators. It's only going to be twenty five dollars for you. And uh, also because this is happening on uh, Veterans Day, uh, if you are military personnel, past or present, it will only be five dollars for you to attend. So uh, yeah, just my little way of, of giving back. You know, I've get, I want them to put a little skin in the game. You know, so basically, you know, turn down that one cup of coffee from Starbucks. But I also <laughs> want to make it accessible and, and help help the military folks out there. Uh, and the other thing about it uh, that I just working on details last night. 45 people is the limit that I'm going to be able to have in it. So um, once I get the information up, yeah, Eric just put it up there. Go to aaronmontgomery.info slash marketing and uh, get on that list because you will be the first ones to know. I won't uh, make it public until after giving the folks that are on that list a day or two to get signed up. So only 45 people in that at, at event. And then really exciting announcement. I know we're, we're way into bonus time here and I've got more stuff, but uh we're it's it's basically official now terry we are uh, launching the decorators community with uh we're going to be doing a uh a educators lounge that we're co-sponsoring with uh, corell and training or training in corell sorry i keep mixing that up clay who we've had on the show right. and uh so that's going to be happening at iss fort worth october 3rd through the 5th and uh, I, I put a little landing page up uh, for that so you can kind of start getting information as, as we pull more details together. But if you go to tworegularguys.com slash decorators community, uh, you can uh, sign up to get more information about that. But I will be there and uh, Terry will be dropping in the booth as much as he can when he's not uh, doing his other duties at that show. Exactly. <laughs> so, so I'm pretty excited about that. And uh yeah, in fact, freaked myself out last night. Thought there was only 27 days till it happened. So. <laughs> was up until 4 a.m. Going, oh my god, I got a lot to do. <laughs> so anyhow, all right, Terry. Well, I think we've uh, done as much damage as we can. We've great stuff, great information. Thank you so much, Terry. That was uh, really good. Um, all the way back to the guardrail stuff that we talked about feels like a long time ago. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, hey, we also want to thank uh, our show producer, Eric Campbell. You can find him at ericcampbell.com. And we also want to thank our sponsor, Imbrilliance, and their entire family of products. Yes, definitely. Thanks very much to Imbrilliance. And make sure you use that coupon code and support them. They've been very supportive of this show, and, and we really appreciate everything they've done. Uh, next week, Terry, we've got Jeff Lavin joining us from One Off Apparel. And uh, this is going to be right up your alley, sir. Uh, we're going to talk some DTG. He's been doing yeah. some pretty cool things, not only with DTG in general, but some mixed media between screen printing and DTG, which I think awesome. is really cool. 
want to get some more information. I actually, uh, Monty Mims, been on the show with us from Sanmar, posted some things on Instagram, some cool shirts that he found. And I wanted to use those pictures for an article that I was doing. And I reached out to Monty and Monty said, well, th those are from Jeff. Uh, contact him. And I asked him <laughs> yeah. some pictures. And Monty's like, hey, ask him about the process, though. It's really cool. I'm like, how about we ask him about the process in front of lots of live listeners on Two Regular Guys? And he's exactly. like, I'm in. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah, so good stuff. Yeah, looking forward All to right. that. All right. Until then, uh, I'm Terry Combs. He's Aaron Montgomery. We are the Two Regular Guys. Thank you for listening to Two Regular Guys. Check out our website at tworegularguys.com. That's the number two, regularguys.com. You can also interact with us over at our Facebook page, facebook.com slash tworegularguys, or send us a tweet, twitter.com slash tworegularguys. And we have a YouTube page. You can find all that from our website, tworegularguys.com. Thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to spending some time with you again next week.